everybody, this is me and welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd do a little bit of a week in the life vlog because I have lots of exciting things happening over the week. But today is pretty exciting because I have my first show back with Joey since I've been away. Our last one was back in February and that was actually the show that we won. So um, pressure's on to do just as well today. I'm actually doing two tests. So we're doing another dressage test. One test I've done before, one I haven't. So I've got to remember two tests so that's a little bit more pressure but this is actually probably the most confident and least nervous I've ever been for a show in quite a while now so uh, I'm getting better with my show nerves so first thing this morning it's gonna be quite busy I actually bathed Joey yesterday so we shouldn't be too bad today I need to plat him I need to put all my tack in the horse box so I'm gonna go and do that now because show days are always a little bit hectic I am so glad that I cleaned my tack yesterday because we're in a bit of a rush this morning, especially as I still need to plat Joey. But everything's in the horse box. Do my final little checks. So I've got everything. Looking good, I've got my saddle pad over here. Just need to put my show jacket in here later. I cannot believe he has rolled. Luckily, he had a rug on to keep him somewhat clean. To be fair, this isn't a turnout rug. Uh, I washed him last night and he's gone and rolled. Luckily, only on one side as well. So I'm going to have to quickly give him a brush down and plait you. You look an absolute state, mister. This side's not too bad because he didn't roll on this side, which is good because he has his mane on that side. So his mane is still clean. Can't quite. S oh, yeah, this side you're completely clean. Just have a few shavings. But this side is next level. Look at that. I actually cannot believe he's rolled because he did it literally when I was reversing the horse box up so I could put my tack in. Like he was so clean. I was thinking to myself, oh, he's been so good and not rolled. It's almost as if he knows. So I'm very glad that I've got my, I've got my tracksuit bottoms on today, guys, to keep my white breeches clean. Um, but yeah, let's get, let's get you clean, mister, because you are absolute mud monster. To be fair, the mud is coming off quite well and it's not like it's wet mud that's like kind of staining him. He's just going to be a little bit dustier on this side, but hopefully the judges are looking at what a good boy you are rather than how clean he is. I've also got to plait the boy as well and that usually takes me like, it's always longer than you expect, probably about 50 minutes if I'm really, really thinking about it, but it's going to have to be a quick plait today, Joey. Oh, he's not looking too dusty, to be fair. Before I bathed him yesterday, he was so dusty. His tail looks clean. That's good enough. There we go. I mean, it's got some bits in it. I'll need to give it a brush. But it's not, like, stained. <laughs> All right, everybody, here are some point of view clips of what it's like to plait Joey's mane. Now, normally, I can't lie, I usually start at the top, but because Joey's mane is so scraggly and messy and I just, I just need to sort it out at some stage, I decided to go for this big chunk here first because it was the messiest part and the part most out of place. So I thought, you know what? If I can pin that down, I can sort out the rest. And you'll also be able to see my slightly dodgy plaiting skills because you know, I'm mainly a show jumper and also that Joey gets a little bit excited when it comes to plaiting and can be a little bit wriggly because he knows that he's going out to a party. clean and ready. I have my tracksuit on at the moment because underneath I do have my show gear. I actually have a, really, I have a new lilac show top so hopefully that will bring me good luck. It's one of my favourite colours so looking forward to wearing my new show gear today as well. But anyway, I need to get Joey in the van, get him to the show and get ready. 
Now it's time to prepare for the world's strangest walk. Are you ready, Joey? You can do a weird walk. Oh, yeah, you give those back legs a good lift up. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Final check, we've got saddle, bridle, two helmets, because I can't decide which one's the one I want to wear. Boots, half pad, saddle pad. Joey is weeing. Very nice. Good thing there are shavings in there. <laughs> we have my show jacket. I've got my show shirt on, boots. Yeah, this seems like everything. Oh, one of my white gloves has fallen on the dirty ground. All good. Nice, let's go, let's go. Today, he's like, no, I'm gonna have my haylage. Haylage? Oh my goodness, your form looks ridiculous. I am half and half right now. I'm just taking my wellies. It's absolutely stay in the back of here, and my jogging bottoms off so I can put my pool boots on. Got my this as me socks on. Bring me some luck for the show. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Cove and the cash, I never lack those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chaser. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this, a probate. You hit the line and tried to locate. All right, everyone, Joey was such a good. He wanted to um, say hello. Yep, he was a very good boy. Uh, we ended up coming home with two rosettes, so super happy with him. I'm not gonna lie, our last show, as I said, was quite a few months ago. He hasn't been out since much, so um, he was a little bit green when we walked into the indoor. There was a spooky corner that he doesn't like too much and took, took a few seconds to, you know, a minute or two to get him past this corner, but the judges are really lovely. Let me have a little trot around once he'd actually got past his fear. Um, but as soon as he went down the center line dressage mode was activated again he was a little bit greener this time but um came home with a second so i can't complain he was very good and then the second test was a little bit trickier um he also was still really good joey i feel like with our dressage we just need to make it a bit more consistent there are times where he feels absolutely incredible and there are times where it feels like he might just fall over a little bit like one of our canter transitions he tripped up over his own feet and i was like oh joey <laughs> come on mate but apart from that he was awesome so happy with him he's been really good so yep he deserves lots of treats and he'll probably go out on the field and get absolutely filthy again yeah he's saying yes he's saying yes okay joey we're going home now i think he wants to see mickey and casper and duke <laughs> we're home. We're excited to show all the other horses your rosettes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You, you don't need to be so dramatic. Okay. So I'm just taking Joey's plats out and I thought I'd do it here in the pine forest because there's a lovely bit of grass. I think Joey will very much enjoy it for being such a good boy. After I'd taken Joey's boots off, it was then time to turn him out into the field and give him a well-deserved rest. The day or two after a competition, I like to either give my horses a day off or take them on a gentle hack. Now, something else I needed to do was give Joey a clip. And this is because normally I would leave my horse a summer coat, but because Joey's in medium to hard work, he'd been getting so sweaty after I've been riding him. So it's time to grab the list of clippers and give him a little bit of a haircut. 
Unfortunately, I didn't have time to do this before our dressage show. If not, he would have looked even smarter, but I've got to say it was very satisfying. Joey was a really good boy to be clipped. I feel like he's gonna feel so much better now. He's also looking very smart as well. So I just need to give him a quick wash down so all the little hairs that are still stuck to him can be washed off so he doesn't get all itchy. And then he'll be ready and looking awesome for a very exciting day tomorrow. Good boy, you are sleepy now. You pooped out from being clipped, hmm? Too many, I'm going. Two. Too crazy, and I got Three. bad ones, and they ready. Four. A good time, so now it's in the whip. We left that. Can't remember anything, but I know we got late, 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 late. Good times. Living in the moment, feel like summertime. see Joey I think oh my goodness he's getting lighter but when I bath him not anymore he's in sort of dark mode at the moment and I think he just looks absolutely beautiful the hot oiling um, has really helped sort of put all the natural oils back into his coat and he's looking so shiny now what a good boy all right everyone it's now a new day and this morning i'm going to be cleaning the horse box because i don't think it's actually been cleaned properly this year because over the winter it gets so muddy and now it's not really the mud season anymore everything's sort of dried up so it's actually going to be worthwhile me cleaning it because if not it just gets dirty again also this might actually be one of the very last times that i do clean this horse box because our new one by aquito by balloons fields is being built right now so that's very exciting so not too long hopefully until that comes along um, but anyway it's looking an absolute disgrace this one so let's get it cleaned clean and we're now going on to the inside it's a little bit grimy in places i feel like the inside i feel like it might be worse just because over the winter you guys know if you've been watching the vlogs i've had so many snacks in here I've had my biscuits i've had my apple juice I've had hot chocolate um so it is a little disgusting so i'm just gonna give the inside a bit of a spray and i don't know why i find doing the inside of cars so satisfying to clean like, ah, uh, when it smells all nice and like a new car inside as well. I don't think it's going to be smelling like a new car in here, but um, it's definitely going to be a lot better than it is right now. The horse box is now all clean, so I'm going to go and grab some lunch and then I'll see you guys this afternoon. But it's time to get everything ready for Joey and I's special outing. I've now got changed since this morning because I did get a little bit damp when cleaning the horse box. But also, I feel like it might rain this afternoon, hence why I've got my new Ariat coat on. But also, because um, the whole of last week, it's been beautiful sunshine, and then classic England, the one day where I have an exciting outing with Joey, it might rain. But to be fair, we really do need some rain over here because the fields are so dry at the moment. But anyway, I'm gonna go and grab Joey now. I accidentally turned Joey out in a stable rug that might have needed to be washed anyway. That's a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Horsey girl. <laughs> if people get the reference to that, if people don't know the reference to that, they're going to be so confused. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie guys, this boy is looking pretty peachy. He has gained so much muscle recently and you can really see by him being clipped. So this is the sort of clip update. I feel like, this is the one time I'm gonna say this, but I feel like a dapple gray is the perfect color for when it comes to clipping a horse because if I do miss a little, little patch here and there, you can't really tell it's a tiny bit longer there, but because he's kind of so many different colors in one, you can't tell too easily, but he's looking so smart and it feels so nice. So um, hopefully he's gonna be looking very good for our special outing today. All right, everybody, we're now on our way. Joey and I are gonna be having a lesson with Trevor Bree, which I'm so excited for. I haven't had a lesson with Trevor since last year, I believe, and I haven't had a jumping lesson with Joey for a little while now, so I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully he is a good boy, so I'll see you guys when we're there, tacked up and ready to rise. Very good leg. Move on, plum trees, you gotta move, move. That's it, that's super, you just I said it, you got his attention, super. Very good. Watch that. Yo, get a hold of his head as well, watch the bridle so you have his attention. That's it. Get the leg on now, get to it. to work to get it but you got it you know because you're a bit dead and deep to the water on the way down yeah but you still got your tree which, yeah. is, which is excellent you know when i went up the long side of that oxer he jumped the oxer way better Super, yeah. that second time and i felt like oh wow i've got a bit of a horse under me here and but when i asked really him good stride out of that. yeah the best stride you've had out of the door that you've like, you, you been painted Oh my goodness guys, that lesson was so good. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous to start with because obviously I haven't jumped Joey properly, like a whole full course kind of thing in quite a while because obviously I've been away and I feel like that's the one thing that um, we're struggling with a little bit with our show jumping is not, uh, we need to basically be more consistent, you know. In our lesson today, it was pretty much working on getting a nice rhythm, getting the striding to all of the fences, keeping it small but technical. We also worked a lot on making sure we got the correct strides in between fences. The first time round in a three stride, I got four. But then the second time round, I pushed and we managed to get three. So it was really good working with Joey to make his canter a little bit more adjustable. And he felt amazing. So hopefully next time for my lesson, we're gonna put the jumps up a little bit bigger. I wanted to sort of keep them at our comfort height just because it has been a while since we've probably jumped a course and I didn't want to push Joey or me too far but we honestly had such a blast and I can't wait to get out jumping again so thank you so much Trevor for our lesson and I'll see you guys when we're back home. Okie dokie. Alright I think Joey just wants to go out and have a roll so let's go mister. Joey is now turned out, I just need to unpack the van, but of course, he left me a little slobber mark here. But anyway, I also have another really cool session with Joey tomorrow, so I'll see you guys then. 
It's now a new day and I'm here with Joey. We have Dee from the Dynamic Performance Hub arriving today. She's going to be assessing my riding on Joey as well as we're going to go through some exercises again and she's going to give me a sports massage. So yeah, she's going to be arriving any minute now so I need to quickly get Joey ready. Good boy! Thought I'd do a little bit of an outfit of the day. If you couldn't tell, the colour for today is navy. Literally everything I'm wearing is navy. We've got a navy saddle pad, got my navy helmet. This one, I don't know what it is, but I always feel like a proper show jumper when I wear this because I have just been in filming in Miami, so I kind of feel like a Florida show jumper, that kind of thing. Also, it's very sunny today, and my eyes are very sensitive to the light, so that's gonna help. I also have my Ascent collection on by Ariat because we are gonna be looking at my posture, and there's some really cool posture technology in the back uh, because one of the things I really need to work on is getting my shoulders back, looking up tall. But anyway, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about that later when Dee arrives, but Joey is almost ready now and tacked up, so I'm probably gonna go and warm him up and get him ready. Joey is a horse that can sometimes take a little boy, while Jojo. to warm up and often starts a little bit slow and sluggish. We've been working on really improving our impulsion, especially right from the get-go at the beginning of our sessions, as well as get him to work nicer and use himself a little bit more earlier on. Right, put this over this arm. Dee then decided to put some of the EQ bands on me and these really helped me think a lot about my position and where I really should be holding myself. Right, have faith in your conviction of this. So you are going to use a bit of visualisation here. I want you to really, you are no longer on Joey being lazy. You are going to immediately get going but your whole thing, it, all I want you to focus on is keeping the resistance on those bands, yeah? And making sure your seat is where I put you. And you use all this, remember? That's the key thing. So where the ascent obviously pulls you and the bands, that's what you need to be thinking. And then this, you keep the width. So if you want to take any contact, you stay light through here, yeah? Because always remember, this is your, this is your connection to him. The second you hold in here, yeah. he will just lock against you. So your thing is that you're going to think be, and, and if you want to take, think like jelly neck, mm -hmm. if you want to take more contact here, you take it through the elbow. Okay. Yeah? Good. But you're up, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah? If you're down here, it's impossible for him to get up. Yeah. And think of where the mini bands are, that's where the space comes for you to be able to get him up through the shoulder. The second you're down here, he's got nowhere to go. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's rock and roll. Have more bend with that right arm. So take the elbow back on the right, take the elbow back on the right. Hand up, elbow back. Hand up, elbow back. Literally take your elbow back. There you go, there you go. Right, drop the right leg. There you go, go on, go on, you can do it, yeah. Then go forward, go, go, keep the right leg down. Good, well done, well done, well done, well done. No need to put your hand by your leg, keep it up. Yeah, 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 super. Oh, right off that, well done, well done. Keep the right leg down. Bloody brilliant, well done. Yes, Esme. You've got to, in order to get the back end coming underneath you, you've got to sit there, think about, this is what I'm trying to say, when I say bring the right leg, you've got to think, bring that back, but you need to be using yourself as well, yeah? Just think about keeping the resistance on that band so that you allow that, you need that shoulder to come up, but you need the back end to come under. Yeah. Let's go, you had it, you had it, you had it, come on. Taking that right hand to your leg, it has no need to be there. Keep the right hand up and the elbow back, right hand up, right hand up, up, yes, thank you. Well done. Yeah, but we're going too quick. I want you to be able to sit in back a little bit. Right hand up, up, up with the right hand, Esme. Esme, put your right hand in the air. There you go, thank you. Take the bands off you for a sec. Yes, Es, yes! Well done, you got it. Oh, beautiful. Right, I'll make that kind of transition better, but that was good, well done. Hands up, up in the air. Esme, make a designated, yeah, thank you. Right, now take the elbow back. Elbow back on the left, there you go. Well done, well done, well done. Right, back to the trot, let's get a really good canter transition. 
take your elbow back and then ask you can do it elbow back yes thank you well done good Esme hands up please yeah 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 super sit on your ass there you go legend go on really think you're really strong for your tummy Esme and you've got to ride it if you want to go right you go right do not drop your hands yes well done well done there you go now just steady this canter a little bit you can do it hands up well done now let's just transition him you've got to keep the bend you have to have to keep the bend much best with your leg elbows in there you go there you go right ride that ride that there you go oh brilliant well done well done well done well done super as yeah right okay play with that trot there you go oh Esme you've got it you've got it you've got it you've got it well done well done well done keep that right hand up yes right then have a trot off of that and then let's just get let's just get that you can walk trot canter off of that well done well done oh Esme yes sit him on his arse you sit on your ass. hands up hands up hands up yeah yeah good good well done right bring the trot let's just get the transitions keep your hands in the air there you go look up deep breaths well done just steady the trot well done oh now that's super well done <laughs> now we're rolling brilliant well done. Esme, you nailed it. Hey, well done. Really, really good. But we've got it on the flat. Yeah. Well done. Good boy, good girl. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy with that. Yeah. Really happy. You should be stoked with that, Esme. Yeah. You're You've got to, you're going to have to be really disciplined with you setting up the canter because what you do is you come forward, but see, this is what I mean about the hand. Mm -hmm. See where it's on your knee. I want you to literally come back, yeah. think about keeping it, but, but on a positive, yeah. Um, look at how much better the upper body is. Yeah. Really good. For, I really like this corner. I actually think that looks really good. Really good. Green is green is good so actually you're a lot better with your lower leg lastly it was then time to do my biomechanics session with d and here i am on the ball working on my balance as well as working on my jumping position as well we also did some more different exercises to help make me a little bit more symmetrical because i do have some asymmetries i have also been given a lot of homework from d if that's different stretches and exercises that's actually been really helping me especially with my bad back and i've really been enjoying it but Anyway guys, that is pretty much my horsey week in the life with Joey complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye!